How about now? Still no Always cut the power before any work is done. To make the perfect hook, put the wire just barely through the hole and roll it over. Many levels that you get with TV mounts or from Ikea are perfect to plumb receptacles. Tool alert! Ah, It's just gauge. It's the wire diameter. If you're using just one color for multiple leads, make sure you tape the ends with what color you are using it as. Don't just cut it open. Start from the center with a fresh roll of cable. Every appliance has an electrical nameplate. I guess a loophole is better than a stripper hole. This is a tripped breaker. To reset it, turn it off and then back on. Holmes Law. Tattoo this on the back of your hand. Remember the nameplate? Well, you can find whatever is missing. Say, the amperage. Do not ground your neutral wires in a subpanel. Tool alert! This is a multimeter. Definitely pick one up. We are going to be checking the AC voltage. That's the little squiggly line. And it is good habit to use one hand so you don't cross the streams. Pre-twist your wires before you wire nut it. Wire strippers have two sets of numbers per hole, solid and stranded. Not sure if you have 12 gauge or 14? Well, 12 is the size of a nickel and 14 a quarter. If you see this, fix it. Neutral should not be grounded at this point. Tool alert! GFCIs will start to go bad after about 10 years, so test it with an actual plug tester. Hand width is about the perfect length for a new box. Code is actually three inches from the box or six from the inside. Welders take high voltage and with Ohm's law applied, it will drop it and raise those amps. Since the voltage is so low with welders, you actually aren't gonna get shocked. Take two seconds and save that power strip from dust and debris. In a bind and only have a three-way switch? Well, you can use it in place of a two-way, but not the other way around. If for some crazy reason you lost your fastback, well, two pliers and the twist and pull method should work. GFCIs are required in wet, damp areas, including crawl spaces. What if the box is in the crawl space, but the outlet is not? Angle the cut and tether the tape for a no-snag fish tape connection. Switching it from AC to DC. All batteries have nameplates. You notice the line with the dash under it? That means DC. And yes, polarity matters with DC. Save yourself a headache and label roughed in wires. It will save you once the drywall's up. Double check that the power's off. 14 is the wire diameter or gauge, and then you've got three insulated wires. Romex doesn't count the ground. And just to confuse you, this is also 14.3. If it's newer and has a square screw, use a combination or Robertson square number one bit. Do not pre-twist the wires. Let your nuts do the work. It's not that a single appliance could pull 20 amps, but multiple put together could. That's why you'll see 20 amp breakers, 12 gauge wire that can handle 20 amps, but you'll only see 15 amp receptacles. Did you know some Levitons are still made in the USA? If you have to pull hard, it's in the wrong hole. Make sure it is wound clockwise. Tamper resistant is required if it needs to be inspected. Just kidding, okay, okay, it should regardless. Three-way switch wiring is easy with the correct diagram. Yes, it changes depending on the light location. Per code inspection, your panel needs to be labeled. Yes, mine's outside, and yes, it could use a little work. Checking continuity is a must. Just don't let your kids know about this feature. Make sure you have enough receptacles in a remodel. Always within reach of a six foot appliance cord. Every switcher outlet has a strip gauge. Extension cords are great when sized correctly. Check charts and the tool for the amp draw. Illegal splicing. If splicing or adding a connection, it needs to be in a box. Double check that the power's off. Wire cutters are meant for copper or aluminum wire only. Don't be a backstabber. Way better connection with screw terminal or the new click. Black is hot, you'll get shocked. Always have an existing installation box handy. Check the actual wiring with a plug tester. My hot neutral are switched. If you got screwed on the rough end, just extend the wires. Don't trust the wire jacket color. Both of these are 12 gauge. Sometimes it gets way too busy inside of a box, so combine and clean it up. Bonus tip, write the number of the circuit that correlates with the outlet or light switch on the nameplate itself. Like and subscribe, we'll see you next time.